Ever since the dawn of man, there's always been a special bond between horses and people. We share this great world with them, and it's beautiful. But then, there's the other side. Hi, I'm Don Rutledge, and I'm the writer of Memory Rescue, the documentary. This is a film that focuses on raising awareness of that other side. But before I get to that, a little about the group. That includes Grant Waldeck, our cinematographer. We were first approached by Tanya Snook, a professor at UT Tyler, that bought a rescued horse from the organization Remember Me Rescue. They needed filmmakers to make a nonprofit documentary for them, and we said, let's do this. We all go to Waxahachie Global High, a STEM academy where we focus on science, technology, engineering, and math. We were also in early college high school where we can earn college credit in our classes through curriculum provided by Navarro Community College and University of Texas at Tyler, making it the only high school in the nation to have a four-year partnership with the university. What this documentary will do, will introduce an art program to the school where a legacy will last for years to come. We'll also be talking to major figures like Pat Day, Jack Bimber, and Dallas and Donna King, as well as those in the equine health fields, jockeys, veterinarians, and more. We'll go to places showing what is really happening to these creatures. Then at the end, we'll show how Remember Me Rescue and similar rescues are stopping cruelty in its tracks. First, we'll talk about the auctions that horses are put on. The auction world has an underground system of kill buyers. This is where the horse's last stop usually is. The whole point of a kill buyer auction is to buy the horse and sell it off to a slaughterhouse in Mexico or Canada. The horses are healthy, but they're not able to be used by any horse owners for racing or shows. So really, people think that a horse that earns millions won't go to slaughter. But just like Ferdinand, they can. Which brings me to the next topic, slaughterhouses. The way they kill them is unregulated, all the way from how they kill them to the violations that have been issued. These violations include broken bones, dehydration during transit, the stumble being ineffective, and so on. And once they're inhumanely killed, they're shipped off to Europe. But in some cases, the horse meat is tainted with drugs. Many of the drugs are used for the horse to perform better, but one of the biggest ones out there is called phenobutazone, or but as they call it. They are painkillers for horses, but those painkillers make their way into the meat that humans consume. We'll be talking to equine health officials about this problem. And lastly, we'll talk about how rescues are trying to stop this cruelty, focusing mainly on Remember Me Rescue's efforts. It's amazing what they've done, and we'll show how they rescue them, how they treat horses, and how they give back horses to responsible owners. We will make this documentary and show what needs to be shown. We're glad that we have this opportunity, and if there's anything that you can help us with, we would greatly appreciate it. And from all of us here in the group, we say thank you.